that seed germinates and starts pushing down, even as the surface soil is drying, as long as the roots are advancing. They produce pollen and then you don't get anything else from them, no fruit whatsoever. But without the pollen, no fruit's going to come on all the female flowers. Soil used when it's too wet is very likely to, the, the depth at which those tines are rotating through the soil is very likely to leave a plow pan behind. and so your plan can change. It's not you do it one year. If you're going to grow something different, just set, send it in and say I've updated my crop list. That's good in the sense of the consumer. The consumer is faced with organic carrots and conventional and at the same price they will choose the organic. What my job is and what all your job is in telling the story is to tell them if it's costing more, it's worth paying more because we are saving the soil for future generations. We're stopping pesticide residues. We're stopping dead ocean zones. It's like 20% of your customers provide you with 80% of your business and then 80% of your customers provide you with 20% of your business. So now we do these classes where we teach people how to kill their own chickens. Oh yeah. The thing too, yeah, you go for their leg and really go for it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Grab it like you want it. <laughs> and all these guys were born at our house, all these little guys. I took cotton toes, I tore the sides off and I put roofing material on. And the trailer, is that what you said? Yeah, it's got uh, like 3,000 gallons of water storage. All this grass, this is all coming up. Like, I could irrigate this, but it doesn't need it. There's tons of soil moisture right now. Use it to get your first couple ant breeding animals, for example. Say you want some really good genetics, you want, you know, a, a, a prize-winning sow or whatever, use, use a debt to buy that, because then she's just going to make money for you, you know? Um, and then the other way we've made, uh, we've gotten investments is we sold egg shares. So similar to a CSA, but we're not coordinating pickup or drops or anything. With that we raised $25,000 last year, um, really quickly too. What you do when you when you start out is you think, oh, okay, well there's there's two problems that I had last year. So I'm going to adjust my behavior and avoid the, those two problems. And then I'll be able to um, sell my product for a lower price because I will have got it figured out and I'll have a higher yield. This is that every single year you get hit by two major body blows. The mo something with the market, some bug, some soil issue, some weather issue, some regulatory issue some personnel issue. And so what you have to be able to do is ride around on your horse with a couple of arrows in you. You're going to have to be able to stay on your horse. 25 years ago, we had to create our own market. It didn't really exist. the birds down. Oh, I see. It's like a latch on line. Yeah, yeah. Hold it and then they just go around it. Just slow them down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Different investments in different technologies are a really good thing. The idea is knowing where you want to put your investment and you want to know when you want to weed this bed and just things like that that that's partly what the farmer veteran coalition is, is is there that michael has totally been there to help me do and and michael has walked me through since day one 
of trying to figure out actually how to make money doing this and, and, and trying to push me th t towards farming different things and I, I just got to hand it to Michael because uh, he, he's helped me uh, he's, he's helped me take that step forward and there was a time that even, even everybody has times when they're just like oh I don't know if I want to do this anymore and Michael has also has had a unwavering belief in me in the fact that I could do it uh, and I really think that that belief is well founded not because I'm so great as a person but more like us you know we can do it and, and really what's important is growing food uh, when you look at all these professions going around yeah there's a couple stuff that's pretty neat and really important but I can't even at this point maybe I brainwashed myself but at this point I can't even imagine anything more important than growing food and there is a need there are people that will buy your produce uh, if you grow it well uh, and you have good quality, especially on the certified organic side, there's a huge market and a lot of people want it. That's why you can do it and that's why it really exists. And so what I want to talk to you today is about, just briefly about the Atcher Project, but more generally about sources of information and, and Matt really has some words of wisdom for you and I totally agree with what he said about land and all that other stuff. I mean, your best sources of information are going to be people like Matt and Michael, you know, other farmers. They have been there, they've done that. Part of the runaway food system was losing the idea that soils are precious and that the, the strength and the health and the wealth of the United States and what you guys went overseas for then was the, this country was built on the quality of its soils. The wealth of this country depended on the soils and the health of everyone who lives here depended on the soils. That's what we eat, that's what provides us nutrients, that's what makes us strong, that's what gives us the energy to get up and go every day.